right there. Oh, he's a good one too. Having trouble finding your tools? Don't worry, use a magnet. Ideal for your work area or even in your boat. It's a safe way to keep your tools nice and organized. Respooling line can be a problem, especially when the spool takes off on you. Use a giant bolt and thread it through all the spools of line that you use. When it's time to put the line on the reel, squeeze the nut a little bit tight and that way it controls the speed of the line coming off the spool and onto your reel. You can make a mounting bracket or even put one in a fishing box or a toolbox and that way your line is always where you need it. Heavy braid is awesome to fish with, but it's a real drag to try to cut it with scissors or a knife. One of the easiest solutions is to use a milk bag cutter. This razor blade is protected with plastic, so it makes it cutting super easy and safe. Even cutting four strands of braid at once is no problem. Getting tired of losing those wacky worms? Time to start using shrink wrap tubing. Cut the tubing in half to one centimeter inch sections. Thread the tubing onto the worm and pull it until it sits in the middle of the bait. Using a candle, stretch the worm out and lower it onto the heat and allow the shrink wrapping to form. When done properly, you'll get a really nice tight seal. Pierce the tubing with your favorite wacky rig hook and you're set. No more lost baits. Large silicone bobber stops are ideal for rigging on a trailer hook. First put on the trailer hook, remove the bead from its wire harness and thread it on the main hook. These neoprene stoppers are really tiny. Go through the channel and plunge the hook through it. Make sure you get it past the barb and it will remain nice and snug. Having the trailer hooks free swinging allows it to be more weedless and you get better hookups. Remove one of the strands of a silicon baking brush. Wedge this strand up through the bullet weight and then pull it to make sure it's in place. Because it's made out of plastic it won't damage the line. Trim accordingly. Now your bullet weight will remain in place without ever damaging the line. Weedless finesse hooks are really expensive. Here's how to make your own. Strands of wire, plastic, or even broom bristles will work as a weed guard. Have the shrink wrap tubing already on the hook. Push the strands of the weed guard as far back into the tubing as you can. Arrange the weed guards so you have them just the way you like it. Now hold the hook over a flame to shrink the shrink wrap. Be careful not to melt the weed guard. Once you get a feel for this, you can make a lot of hooks pretty quickly. There you go, it's as simple as that. Long lengths of Velcro can easily bundle rods together, but one of the coolest tricks is, is taming those drop shot weights. Use the plush kind of Velcro, that way it will never damage the line. 